we'll get some rain pretty soon. There won't be a head of stock left on the range. We might try the springs. I don't think those cattle will last till they get to the springs. And there's no guarantee that there'll be any water there if they do. Oh, come on, let's get moving. Another week of this drought, and Little Rock Basin will be busted wide open, Dorn. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. If the cattlemen fail, that means the end of this association. That's right. Hey, you're taking it pretty casual for one that'll be out of a job along with the rest of us. If my plans work out, Adams, none of us will be out of jobs. Yeah, how come? Hello, Corrigan. I didn't expect you'd be in town today. Dorn, something's got to be done to save our cattle. You better call a special meeting of the association. Well, we'll send out notices, but it'll be a week before we can hold a meeting. By that time, we'll all be wiped out. Well, according to the bylaws, a week is the time. But, man, don't you understand? This is an emergency. Well, the association was formed to patrol the range, keep order, and make marketing arrangements. That the association that. was formed to help us ranchers in times like this. We need help now. need it quick. Well, I'll do all I can for you. Hey, what's going on across the street? Basin Bank. Dan Brady, President. About that special meeting, Dorn. Dan Brady will take care of us. I think you men are welcome to it. Just sign your names and the cashier will take care of you. You'll never know what this means to us cattlemen, Dan. Well, you'd grub stake me a few years back. Turnabout's only fair play. And you've more than repaid us. Well, then we're even, so I'm busy now. Get out. But glad, Dan. Thanks. Thank you. Well, I know we could depend on you, Dan. But isn't it just a little bit more than you bargained for? No, not at all. I have faith in this valley. I have faith in you men. And I'll go right along with you to my last dollar. Thanks. Have a cigar. Here's my note for $5,000. Brady said to be all right. Oh, hello, Ann. How are you, Ben? Just in from Phoenix, Miss Ann? Yes. Been a lot of changes here in Little Rock since you've been away. And for the best, too. Well, goodbye, Dan. you're looking at me, you'd think I was caught horse stealing. You're as unpredictable as weather. That's all about. Well, the drought ruined all the ranchers in the basin. They needed help and I'm giving it to them. I know how you feel, but you don't know anything about running a bank. Oh, shucks, there's nothing to it. All you do is hand out money you ain't got no use for and take notes for it. It's not as simple as that. You've got to know the value of land and cattle. All you have to know is the value of men, and that's something I do know. Why, all the people in Little Rock are my friends. Same old dad. Yeah, Brady's has upset my plans. How? Well, I got a deal on with an eastern syndicate. They want this entire valley here for an irrigation project. I'm going to see that the cattle business doesn't recover from the drought. It's shooting, dynamite, and rustling. That's right. That's where you and the boys come in. I'll bring in more men to help if necessary.
Bob Corrigan. Yeah, he wasn't fooling when he said Wardy was in trouble. I'll ride straight at him and you come at him from the side. I was afraid you're going to let me down. Hi, Fuzzy. Hi. Your telegram chased us all over the state. We came as fast as we could. Yeah, what's the idea of plowing around and letting these fellows get away? We've got to. They run off a beef herd that we were counting on to pull us out of the hole. We've got to round them up now before they run themselves to death. Uh, the situation's still bad, then. And getting worse every day. If it wasn't for Dan Brady, we'd all be broke long ago. Come on. This is important. Well, there's nothing stopping you. Sheriff Bailey was killed last night. How? Shot. We found his body out on the range this morning. Have you heard anything what's been happening here and there around the basin? Yes, I have, and it's got me worried. There's something behind it all. Sure you ain't imagining things. No. There's just some people that don't want to see other folks get along. You mean somebody wants to finish what the drought started? It looks mighty like it, Dan. Any idea who it could be? No. If I did, I wouldn't be in here bothering you. Something's got to be done about this business. Let's go over and see Dorn. We've mortgaged our places right up to the hill. But Dan here, now it's up to the association to give us more protection. Well, we're already doing all we can, Foster. I've doubled the range guards. But uh, they never seem to be in the right places at the right time. Well, they can't be everywhere at once. Then let's hire some more. That calls for a special assessment on all the members. Kind of puts it up to you, Dan. I know you've been carrying us to the limit right now, but... Well, you see how it is. Well, I'm in this thing too deep to turn back now. Hire your guards. I'll cover the assessments. You heard what he said, Dorn. Get those guards as soon as you can. I will, Foster. How'd the raid go? Not so good. What happened? A lone rider took a hand. The lone rider? Yeah. We couldn't hold the herd and it scattered from here to the border. With the lone rider mixing in and Brady about money like water, we're getting no place fast. We'll stop Mr. Brady from doing that. With him out of the way, the bank will fool. So it's up to you to pick an argument with him and force him into a gunfight. brings you in town so early? Dad, did you have an argument with Jack Hammond last night? Well, yes, come to think of it, I did. <laughs> yes, it did. He threatened to shoot you on sight. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to that kind of gossip. Hammond's a killer, Dad. It's not just wild talk. Promise me you won't go out in the street today. Well, you know I can't promise that. A man has to take his chances in this world. If Hammond wants to shoot it out with me, well, let it be. No, Dad, no, but please. Oh, stop it, Anne. There, that's the girl. All right. No tears. I've been through shooting scrapes before. I think I can manage another. Now, you skip on home now, and I'll be home at 12 on the dock for lunch. He'll be ready.
a nice, pretty little town, ain't it? Yeah, but do either of you notice anything unusual? Bet my spurs, something crooked's going on. That's my idea, too. Uh-oh, looks like gunplay. All right, Brady. Draw. for granted. Me and Betsy never do that. Hey, what's the idea? That's what I'm asking you. I'm Harry Dorn, head of the Cattlemen's Association. Well, Betsy here wants to know what you're after. The man you have locked up, Jack Hammond. Now, why are you so interested in him? Well, he's one of my men. He's charged with murdering Dan Brady. I reckon you have to hire someone else. I haven't got time to argue with you. It wouldn't do you any good if you had. Uh, Betsy here's awful hard to convince. Now look here, you. Hey, you got him, by gosh, eh, Rocky? Yeah, put him in with the other one. Uh, uh, what about this, Dorn? Hey, now wait a minute. Hey, you want to go with him? Get in there. Say, who are these men? Rocky Cameron and Fuzzy Jones. Never heard of them. Well, now's a good time to get acquainted. Rocky? Harry Dorn. Corrigan here has been telling me a little of what you people are up against in the basin. And knowing that, you go ahead and so two of the best men I have in jail. They killed Brady without giving him a chance. Not according to what I heard. Anyhow, who gave you the authority to mix in? I did. With the sheriff dead, somebody had to take over. That's my job. I'll send a couple of deputies down here to take over until a new sheriff is appointed. Does that mean these men will be released? We of the Cattlemen's Association work strictly for law and order. <clears throat> judge Brandon's in town and their trial will be held right away. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll go over and tell the judge. Yeah, things sure move kind of fast here in the basin. <laughs> Next case before this court is the people versus Jack Hammond and Bill Davis. Jack Hammond and Bill Davis, stand up. You are both accused of willfully murdering Dan Brady. How do you plead? Not, Not guilty. You want a trial by jury or by the court? Well, I'll take my chances with you, Judge. Me too. Sit down. And I'll have the first witness. That'll be you, Corrigan. Do you see this shooting? Yes, sir. Both men had guns in their hands? Yes, sir. What about Davis? Did you see him? No, but I think... I'm not interested in butts. Sit down. Yes, sir. Rocky Cameron? Stand up. What do you know about this case? I saw the whole thing. Hammond killed Brady while Davis was shining a mirror in the banker's eyes. Can I say something, Judge? Sure, go ahead. Well, I was using a mirror to get some tobacco out of my eye. 
Uh, there was some shooting down the street. The next I know, this Cameron fellow's charging at me, throwing a lad as fast as he can. Is that why you hightailed it out of town? Sure, I didn't see any sense staying being killed. Hey, he's a lion, Judge. If Rocky says that Davis was shooting a mirror into Brady's eyes, you can bet your bottom dollar that's just what he was a doing. Did you see him doing it? Uh, no, but, uh... I told you I wasn't interested in butts. Well, I know, but... Uh, You're out of order. Sit down. Have you anything further to say, Cameron? No. There seems to be a difference of opinion here. Do you care to testify, Miss Brady? All I know is, Dad and Hammond had an argument that ended with Hammond threatening to kill him on sight. And he did. Were you a witness to the shooting? I was not. And I'm afraid your testimony is worthless and will have to be disregarded. You saw the shooting, Dawn. At least that's my understanding. Well, uh, yes, I did, Your Honor. Just what did you see? Well, Brady came from the bank and Hammond here uh, called him and, well, they both went for the guns and started to shoot it out. Did you see anything of Davis? Or any reflection of light hitting Brady? No, I didn't. That's all. Sit down. Are there any other witnesses? Please stand and face the court. Jack Hammond, it is the court's decision that you killed Daniel Brady in self-defense. But, for disturbing the peace, you are fined $25. In the view of the fact that no murder was committed, the charges against you, Bill Davis, are dismissed. Court is adjourned. This is an outrage. Let's get out of here. The way that trial turned out, I don't know what to think now. The judge evidently believed Dorn and Davis, not me. Dorn probably only saw the actual shooting. Why didn't he listen to me? No but, says he. Why, I'd like to... Well, you know, with Brady gone, we're going to need help and lots of it. Hey, look down there at the bank. There's trouble of some kind. Get out of there! What's wrong? We want our money, yet. what's wrong? Yeah. What time is it? Uh, not sure. Uh, uh, two minutes past three. The bank closes at three. You all know that. Well, we want our money. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Now, why don't one of you do the talking? There's a lot of us here that came from out of town, and we want our money. You've always gotten it before when you wanted it. Why the sudden rush? We were told that the bank was going under, and that your father spent our money. Who told you that? I don't know. The room is all around the basin. You all knew my father. You knew he was honest. And that he wouldn't spend the bank's money unless he had first-class security to cover it. He counted all you men his friends. Ever since the drought, he has been helping the rangers with their struggle. With our money? Not with your money. With his own and the bank's money. The bank has mortgages on every ranch in the basin. We want our cash, not mortgages. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah, you right. You'll get your money. Every dollar of it. When? I read that sign. I'm not interested in signs. You're interested in this one. Read that sign. I said read it and read it out loud. Hours 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday to 12 noon. That's plain enough for anybody to understand. Tomorrow, Saturday, the bank will pay off all demands until noon. Can we depend on that, Miss Ann? You certainly can. Well, that's well, well. Come on inside. I can't understand why people should turn against Dad like that. He never hurt anyone. Well, rumors start when people get panicky. We haven't enough cash on hand to pay those folks tomorrow, Miss Ann. Then those men were right. Dad did use their money. Yes, to help us ranchers. But you can raise the money by using our mortgages and notes. That takes too long. Well, how about you ranchers helping out? Well, we've always depended on Brady for our cash. I don't think we could raise $5,000 amongst all of us. Well, at a time like this, every little bit will help. Well, I'll do what I can. So I.
<laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh-huh. Holding out, huh? <laughs> hey, where are you going? First stop will be the saloon. I'll clean that out, then hit the express office. Then I'll... And then we'll be burying you. I appreciate your thought, Fuzzy. But I don't think it'll be necessary to clean out the town. Will $50,000 carry us through until we can raise some more cash on the bank's assets? Yes, but where can you get it? From the bank in Maverick. When Dad sold his mining claims, he deposited it up to my personal account. And it's never been touched. Well, do you think we can get it here in time? I'll wire the bank to put it on tonight's stage. But the stagecoach don't reach the basin until 4 o'clock on Saturdays. I think by using the old Pony Express trail that I can get to Maverick and be back before noon. Oh, if you only could. Telegraph that bank and have that money ready. Yeah, we'll be seeing you. Wait a minute, Fuzzy. I can make better time alone. You stay here and make sure that telegram gets delivered. And stop pouting. Foster and I will see what we can do about raising some money. Come on, Foster. I'll uh, see what I can do too, Ann. coming in on the old Pony Express trail from Maverick in the morning. Now, we have the money with him for the bank. I want you to round up some men and see that he doesn't arrive. I'll round him up right away. That's all the cash we could raise, Miss Ann. This, together with what we have, ought to tide us over until Rocky gets here. Maybe that's him now. Maybe it is and maybe it isn't. Wait a minute, folks. Now, there's plenty of money coming in from Maverick. And if you all just hold your horses, you'll get everything that's coming to you. Let me see it. That's enough. How do we know you're not lying? You call me a liar? I've got to get him. Lay back. Hey, lay oh. back and fill a bank open. Hey, everything is going to be all right. Rocky's got the money and he's on his way. Yes, but everybody in the basin knows that he's bringing the money. Maybe we better meet him to see that nothing happens to him. That's a good idea. Ah, uh, nothing will happen to Rocky, but... On second thought, maybe we better be on hand, just in case. Slim and go on ahead. You know what to do. Yeah, we'll let Cameron go by us and then close in behind him. Right. We'll stay here. Unless Rocky gets here pretty soon, we'll have to close. Delay as long as you can.
trouble. Come on. The money must be in the saddlebags. How bad is he hurt? Ah, bullet creaked him in the head. We got here just in time, Rocky. I must have had an accident. Accident? Accident? Nothing. You were chased by a whole flock of bandits to get that money you was carrying. Bandits and, and money. You must be mistaken, old timer. Old timer? Hey, why do you call me old timer? Well, I didn't know your name. If I didn't know you was a fool, I'd, I'd, I'd get mad. I'm not fooling. Who are you? You know doggone well and I'm... Fuzzy Q. Jones. <laughs> you mean they call you Fuzzy because of that, that stuff on your chin? <laughs> you listen to me, Rocky Cameron. What'd you call me? No, I am mad. I don't know what you fellas are talking about. Well, if you're not Rocky Cameron, then who are you? Yeah, who are you? Why, my name... Oh, my name is... Well, that's funny. I can't remember who I am. I, I'm sorry. I can't even remember my name. This ain't no time for fooling. We got to get that money to the bank. What money are you talking about? The $50,000 you were bringing from Mavic to the bank in the basin. Look, Rocky. There's your horse. Go see if you can find the money in that saddlebag. Who'd be crazy enough to give me $50,000? You fellas got me mixed up with somebody else. I don't well, know. Well, anyway, just go ahead and try, will you? What's the matter? Oh, Rocky seems to have lost his memory. I... And the bank's money along with it. You all seem to know who I am, but I don't know. We I, I... do know who you are. I'm... Look. Look in this wallet of yours and see if there isn't a telegram from Corrigan. Telegram. Well, that seems to prove I'm Rocky Cameron, but I... I don't know anything about the money. What about us backtracking him? We might try it. Oh, uh, we ain't got time for that. I'm worried about him. Best thing for us to do is get him to town and have the doc look him over. Now, come, come on. on. You take care of him. Hey, wait a minute. Morgan, you kind of look out after Rocky. Me and uh, Foster, they'll go over to the bank. All right, Fuzzy. Next. 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 Next.
get it out of here. What's the matter with you? Come on, take it home. Just come on. I wonder why they're taking so much time. We have money enough to pay this. We'll have to ask them to wait until Monday. If we do, they'll tear this place apart. <laughs> Hey, where do you think you're going? I, I got to see Miss Brady. I... Not a chance. Take a look at that clock. Please let Fuzzy pass. Nope. Uh, it's only a uh, minute and a half until closing time. Yeah, but that window ain't closing while I'm on my feet. <laughs> Maybe you won't be on your feet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's what you think. <laughs> Give me a hand here and get him out, will you? Fuzzy. Our cash was about gone. Did you bring the money? Uh, no. Didn't you meet Rocky? Yes. We met him. For a minute he had me worried. We got bad news, Ann. Rocky's over at Doc Lewis's office. Has he been hurt? Well, not seriously, but the money's gone. The money's gone? Well, what are we going to do? We have until Monday morning, just 44 hours. Check your records and find out how much cash we have to raise. All right. Now tell me what happened. Well, on the road back with the money ambushed and shot from his horse. <coughs> there just in time to... We had him cornered when Corgan and the others rode up. Then we had to get away fast. I told you to take plenty of men. We did, but we never expected... Ah, forget it. The damage is done. Wait a minute. Maybe he didn't get back in time with the money. I'm going over to the bank and find out. Well, Ann. Looks like you weathered that storm. Temporarily, at least. Come on, Dorn. We may need you and your men. What's up? Cameron's been shot. I'll tell you all about it on the way to Doc's office. This isn't this superficial wound head. I can't find a thing wrong with you. Uh, how about his memory, Doc? There is no known cure for amnesia. Mother Nature usually takes care of things of that kind. Well, let's get her. I mean... Oh, Doc, do you mean you can't do anything? Medically, no. Although a uh, shock or another blow on the head has been known to restore the memory. That puts you in a tough spot here. Yes, it does. Well, I'll do everything I can to get that money back, Miss Brady. I believe you will. Personally, I'm not so sure. Oh, you're not? If I remember correctly, you volunteered to go to Maverick. I don't know. Fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money. Insinuating that I'm faking a loss of memory? Well, it's possible, isn't it, Doc? Well, yes, it's possible, but I don't say it's so in this case. Uh, it's a good thing you don't. Eh? You keep out of this, Joe. Why don't you pick on somebody your own side? Yeah, pick on somebody your side. All right, I will. Oh, you want to play? Uh, you will. Why don't you fellas break it up? Stole this win. Oh, I'm fine. I know who'll win. Wait a minute. You two can't gain anything by fighting, and it won't help Ann get her money back. Maybe not. But I'm arresting Cameron on suspicion of robbery. You can't do that. Yes, he can, old-timer. Don't you call me old-timer, All right, get his gun, Foster. 
I hate to do this, Cameron. You can't do anything else. You might be right for all you know. All right, get going. Sit down, my friend. There's nothing to fear. You are in trouble. Very serious trouble. And you have come to Pasha for assistance. Gosh, that's right. <laughs> Pasha knows all and sees all. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Just a minute, my good man. I cannot concentrate without my turban. Now, just what do you wish to know most? Oh, it ain't nothing about me. It's my pal, you see. He's lost his memory, and if he don't get it back, the whole town will go smash. And the man's name is? It's Rocky Cameron. Right. Yeah, but he don't know it. I can almost see where your palm. I cannot tell you more. Why not? It's too horrible. Oh, 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 that. <laughs> That's right. There's some things that are better hidden from us. Yeah, but but I I, I gotta know. Very well then, brace yourself for a terrible shock. You have but only two days of life remaining. Huh? On the second day from today, you will meet with a violent death. I can't tell you just how yet. But I can see a swirl of violence. And you in the midst of it. I can see your soul flying away. Hey, I, I, I know, but uh, ain't there some way we can get out of this thing? I mean, can I go... Yes, uh, my good man, there is. <laughs> For the small sum of, we'll say, fifteen dollars, mm -hmm. I will give you this little charm that will keep you out of danger for the next two days. And if you have any enemies, they can't harm you. Nothing will hurt you. Uh, uh, how much did you say? Just fifteen dollars. <laughs> Give me a whole mess up, my... <clears throat> Five. <laughs> Fuzzy! Why, 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 Miss Sam? I've been looking for you all over town. You yeah. have? We've got to get Rocky out of jail. Rocky? Uh, jail? The bank has to open Monday, and with Rocky in jail, we haven't a chance of finding that money. You just leave it to me. I'll get him out. Hey! Take your hand off those keys or I'll fill you full of lead. Go ahead and try it.
Hey, are you sure you're all right? Uh, sure, I'm Well, those bullets hit you. Ah, bullets can't hurt me. I got a charmed life. When I'm carrying this little charm, why nothing can... Uh... Hey, let me see that. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> I, I was hit someplace else, too. I, uh, no. Right, look at that, look at that. Always something to stop it. Uh, come on, we've got something to do. get him out of jail, but I didn't think he could. Oh, you knew about it, huh? Yes. I guess we lost him. Yeah. But that ain't half as important as getting your thinker back to where it's working again. I don't know what to do about that, but I do know how to find out who's behind all this. Well, you name it and we'll do it. Look, whoever was after that money I was carrying evidently didn't get it, because they never caught up with me. Mm, that sounds plausible. Now, all I have to do is spread the word around that I've got my memory, that I'm looking for the money. They'll do everything they can to stop me. Yeah, that sounds like the old Rocky again. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll ride into town and have Miss Ann spread the word. Oh, stop it. The minute you show that mug in town, guns will start popping like firecrackers. <laughs> Buzz can't do me no harm. <clears throat> I think there's something wrong with your head. I, who, me? <laughs> well, I got a charm. <laughs> Nothing can happen to me. <laughs> you hope. I, uh... <laughs> seem to know where they're going. If they don't, we're on a wild goose chase. Here they come. Like Rocky, guess right. Corrigan and Foster are all set. I'll get around behind them. It 
closer to him, Adams. Drop them guns. Think I ought to go out there and surround him? Hey, that's a good idea. Right. What am I doing? Um, on well, a second thought, I think you better go out that's there. That's what I thought. Yeah, those were Dorn's men. We'll pick them up in town and Dorn along with them. Dorn? Yeah, Adams here gave the whole thing away. Dorn's working for a syndicate that wants all the basin for an irrigation project. Here, take care. We gotta get into town fast. thing was a trap and blew right up in their faces. They got Adams, and if he talks, we're through. We're not through if they can't prove what he says. How can we stop them? By clearing out the records that we have here and dropping out of sight for a while. Oh, we're done if we do that. Oh, no, we're not done. The loss of Cameron's memory must be on the level. Without the money that he went for, the bank can't open in the morning. When that happens, we step in and buy the bank's assets. We're sitting pretty. Take care of Judge Brand. All right, let's get to work. Chip off Brandon Davis. We'll have to make it snappy. Take care of him, Fuzzy. but I remember you, brother. Yes, and I'll get it for you later. Hey, Pleasant. 
Fuzzy. You better get the money, Corrigan. It's behind an oak tree just before you reach Eagle Pass. All right, go out and pick it up as soon as I put these two behind bars. Get out. Hey, Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Hey, come on, snap out of it. It's Rocky talk. Rocky. Are you dead, too? No, no, I'm not dead. Uh, you mean I'm dead? No, no, bullet just creased you, Fuzzy. Uh, come on, Fuzzy, get up, get up. Uh, what color is blood? Well, it's red. Well, then this is blood, huh? Yeah, Fuzzy, don't worry about it. It's just a scratch. Is today Monday? No. Uh, he told me I couldn't get hurt for two days. I... Hey, what are you talking about? Just settle down. I got a little unfinished business to take care of. Ah, uh, come in, my friends. Uh, there is nothing to fear. I see you are in trouble. Serious trouble, and you have come to Pasha for assistance. Now look, I want to tell you Ah, uh, don't tell me. I will tell you. <laughs> uh, I see a swirl of violence, and you are in the midst of it. Now, uh, for a small consideration, shall we say uh, five dollars? I will give you a charm. That will do what? Ah, uh, you spoil everything. I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rocky, let's stay around this town. This is going to be a good business. You like this business? Mm -hmm. I can see it now. Pasha Q. <laughs> Pasha Q. Jones. <laughs>